My name is K R Ravindran. I'm from Sri Lanka, and I am currently the chair of the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International. In 1985, we launched on this program to eradicate polio. The problem was in Sri Lanka. We were having a civil war going on, and we teamed up with the government and UNICEF here, and we said, "Let's vaccinate the whole country because that is the way we found you can eradicate the disease." And I got at that time something like five million dollars from Rotary, and then we went back to the government and said, "Okay, we've got the money, so let's do the vaccination." And then they said, "Yes, we will do this." And they mapped out the place, leaving out one third of the area which was in conflict. So we said, "No, no, 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 that won't do. We must vaccinate the whole country." They said, "Sure, we also want to vaccinate the whole country, but how do you propose to do this? There's a war going on there." So we said, "We'll stop the war." I mean, they looked at us as though we were mad. We reached out through various channels to the uh, rebel leaders. He was at that time the most feared terrorist. Gorilla leader in the world, but we got through to him. And a few weeks later, I had a letter delivered in my office saying, "Dear Mr. Ravindran, if you can persuade your government to lay down their arms on these days that you ask, we are willing to lay down our arms because our war is not with children. We had the ceasefire, so we took it up to our government. They, of course, they agreed to this, and Sri Lanka actually became the first country in this part of the world to become polio-free." I was convinced that if you get your act right, you can actually eradicate a disease. You just need the cooperation of all the different people, all the different players. Malaria is the greatest killer of humankind ever. It has killed more people than any other disease, and there are many scientists who believe that it may have killed up to half of the people who have ever lived. And even if people don't die from the disease, it has the ability to keep people in the cycle of poverty and devastate entire communities. When someone is sick with malaria, they can't work. Children cannot go to school. It reinforces additional problems. My name is Bill Feltz. I've been a Rotarian for 33 years, active in international projects for the last 16 years. I am a member of the Rotary Club of Federal Way, and we are their official sponsor of the programs of scale that we call Partners for a Malaria-Free Zambia. So we are very, very excited about the relationship with Malaria Partners International. We think it is an absolutely fantastic opportunity to leverage the energy and the commitment that the Rotarians bring to their engagements and to their efforts. We have been incredibly impressed with the work that has gone into polio eradication, and we just look forward to working together to ensure that these community health workers get up to speed, that they're trained, and that more people are able to access quality care than before. And we'll see the downward trends that we want to see across Zambia. Partnerships are really critical to any achievements. That we desire in a program like malaria. If you look at the kind of destruction that the malaria has had on communities, you know, investing in such a program with an aim of reducing that level of suffering and hopefully, at some point, even going towards eliminating the whole disease, that is something that should get anyone excited. As an attending doctor, I had to attend to a lot of cases that came in as complicated malaria. Children are more prone to having malaria, and when they get malaria, the chances that a child will actually develop the severe forms of malaria are much higher than that of an adult. And also, the progression of the disease tends to be much much faster than the way it would be in an adult. It's never easy. to communicate that bad news 
to a parent that has lost a child. What can be more devastating than that? The problem is big, and so definitely it does require concerted effort by different stakeholders and partners coming together. A lot of the work that we focus on is improving data systems to help drive different decisions, not only at the national level, but also within given communities. And the intention is to build upon the existing system and the existing network of community health workers who are offering care within their individual communities. Each one of those community health workers will be responsible for testing and treating about 500 of their neighbors in their community. If you do the math on that, the effort that we're putting into this is going to impact about 1.3 million Zambians. If we get this thing right in Zambia, if we can start with this, expand a little bit and get eradicate Zambia, then we look at Africa, then why not you take on the rest of the world? Because it can be done. To eliminate malaria worldwide, where there are now 220 million cases a year, would just be an amazing accomplishment. We will not be able to do that alone. We will have to work with partners like we have with polio, but we can be an initiator, and we are. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. We're seeing the emergence of vaccines. We are seeing improved coverage with interventions like mosquito nets and new drugs and new diagnostic tests. This is a disease that is preventable, it's diagnosable, it's treatable, and it is absolutely inequitable that we are still living in 2021 in a world where people are dying and or chronically afflicted with a disease like this. When we put our minds to something, we mean business, and Rotary, leading the Partners for a Free Malaria Zambia campaign, is a step towards the elimination of malaria in Zambia and globally. With the right kind of intervention and the right attention paid to this disease, how wonderful it would be to be part of an effort to eliminate a disease that has killed more people than any other disease in the history of the world.